welcome back everyone. We're still busy looking at position and frames of reference, and distance and displacement, but let's look at that in a little more detail now. Okay, so let's really get into the nitty gritty. Here we go. So, we're gonna consider someone's path during a walk. So a friend of mine sent me her little, she did a walk, she sent me her, her, her distance thingy that her fitness tracker gave her. So here we go, this is the walk. Now if we look at this, we can see that she started where the 4,39 kilometers is, and then she went for a walk and went, followed this very strange little path. It almost looks like a square, but not quite. Okay, and then ended up where she started. We're not gonna worry too much about how slow it was, because that, oopsie, that doesn't matter. And you see, don't wanna know how slow it was. So if I had to describe, this is like the race we were talking about, in that started and stopped at the same place, but followed all sorts of directions. So went up, turned a corner, went up. And if I had to now describe to you the path that was taken, uh, it could be anything. I could say she walked 4,39 kilometers. Could she, maybe she went straight for that time or maybe she went straight for two and then came back or who knows, okay? So here it's about describing where she is from a starting point, okay? So let's have a look at that and we go, well, if I use left, right, up and down as my direction. So we're gonna say, we've got over here, so she starts, okay, actually I think I needed to use this one. So this is my starting point over here. Okay, now, first of all, I'm going to say, I'm not gonna use up and down on the board as left and right, because it's a little, because it's an angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that left, so we, looking at it from an angle, okay? So that's the, the left direction, and that will be the right direction, okay? Just to give us a reference point. So now if we look at this, she went up a little bit, and that's probably about 50 meters. So what we would say is if we had to describe this, we, we could say, well, she went 50 meters up from her starting point, okay? So she went up 50 meters, then she turned a corner. Now she went to the left, and that's a short little distance, so let's say that's 10 meters. She then went 10 meters left. All I'm giving here is distance. I'm not saying relative to anything, we're just giving distance. Here, the point with this is that it's a distance. I'm telling you, where she went, which makes it a displacement, because I'm giving you a distance and a direction, but the direction is here. So this first displacement is from her starting point, okay? Let's do that. This one is from the second point. Okay, so it's not from the starting point anymore, which means she's going to have a displacement. Now, this is quite small, so we're going to use that just now. Then she walks along and she goes up and then she goes to the left, then she went up again, and then she goes to the right and she gets here. Now, according to the fitness tracker, she's now done one kilometer, okay? But that one kilometer is a distance. She's physically walked one kilometer. Distance, she's tired now, but that's not her displacement, because that distance is from her starting point, okay? But if I had to describe what her displacement is, so she starts here, and if I had to go, well, she's actually there, okay? So she's walked a kilometer, but if she could have jumped over all the houses that are here, which we can't, and it's a good thing, okay, what I would actually say is from here to here, whoopsie, again, here to here, that's her displacement. And if we look at it, it's not quite up. It's not quite directly up, okay? 
Now, I said to you that the, we were going to look at motion in one plane. And now you're going, but Tracy, you're going left, right, up, down. I'm still in one plane because she's on a road. So the road can change direction, okay? But it's still one plane. I'm not changing. So she's not going at an angle in her motion, okay? It's still flat. Her displacement is definitely not one kilometer, okay? And looking at this, her displacement's probably about 400 meters, okay? And that, if she could have walked from here, see, it doesn't like this, from here to here, okay, she would only have to do 400 meters. Now, we could have done that a lot faster than the one kilometer because if you look down here, this time he's telling me it's averaging 10 minutes and 53 seconds a kilometer, so it's about 11 minutes, okay? So it takes a, that's very slow, by the way. Um, but this is a distance, okay? This, this red one, it's a displacement. So I would have to describe that displacement as 400 meters up. So that's from her starting position. My frame of reference is there. I can change my frame of reference. So if we now go, let's make that one kilometer her frame of reference, okay? So from this point, we're now going to look and go, well, from that one kilometer point, she went to the right, okay, for however that, how many meters that was. Then she went down, okay, and then she went to the right again, okay. Now she's got another kilometer. So we've traveled a distance of one kilometer, but... Her displacement, now here, because of the way it was done, it's probably going to be close to a kilometer, but it's not, because her displacement is from there to there. It should be a straight line. So again, displacement ignores all the twists and turns, okay? Displacement is a straight line. Distance can take twists and turns, and we don't really care. Displacement is a straight line line from one point to another. If we're now looking at her displacement from the starting point, it's there to there, okay? Let's now consider, and there's lots of things written all over here, so let's just take some of this out because it's going to make it a bit easier in a second. When she gets to four kilometers, so she gets here, and at this point, she wants to fall over because it's been long, okay? That point here, she has walked a distance of four kilometers. In that distance, she has gone up and down and round and right and left. But her displacement is from here, oopsie, to there. It's very short. So instead of doing that whole four kilometer route. If she wanted to get here, she could have just gone and that's probably about, ooh, we're just gonna pretend probably only 500 meters or so. Um, no, yeah, not even that, but we'll make it 500 meters. So instead, she could have gone 500 meters slightly to the left and down, okay? Uh, right, that's right. Left and right, very important slightly to the right down, and she would have ended up in the same position. Why can't I do that? Because there are roads and houses and things in the middle, okay, and we can't jump over them. With this one, describing this as left, right, up, down, feels a little clumsy, okay, because we're doing lots of turns. What we could do instead, so, is instead of using up, down, still the same thing. We're going to use the cardinal points. In other words, north, south, east, and west. Here I need you to pay attention. 
Because when we look at a piece of paper, we automatically, it's ingrained in us, we go north must be up. So we want to go north is in this direction. But it doesn't have to be, and I've done this deliberately. So I know from this map, all right, that north is actually there. North points this way, okay? This is a street map. I don't have to twist it so that it goes north up. Be careful. If we are going to give you displacements and distances where north isn't straight up, I have to tell you where north is, okay? Do not make the assumption. It also means that, and this is what I wanted you to see, I, in the last diagram, gave you down like this as being left. We also tend to go, I'm always looking north, which means right must be east, left must be west. That's also not true. You cannot make that assumption. I'm telling you that we're going to use the cardinal points, north, south, east, west. So if that top part is north, then there's east, there's south, there's west. Okay, we know which way it goes, okay? And you can remember it as being never eat salt water. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so we look back at my displacement. So let's go from here to here. That's two kilometers, that distance. But if I look at her displacement, this is actually better to describe because if I put my north-south lines here, can you see that she's southeast? Not quite southeast, because here's north, all right? But if that's the east line and that's, sorry, that's south and that's east, I, if I could find that angle, I, which I could measure if I had a protractor and I did this accurately, I could describe that distance as being, and that's probably about a kilometer, she's one kilometer, and we could do it as a bearing, so let's just do it as a bearing. We d we've done that before. And I'd say she was one kilometer bearing, looking at that angle, 160 degrees. That is far more accurate for me as a displacement, far more accurate, because I can tell exactly where, I, where it was. Whereas the left, right, up, down, eh, doesn't really help me. So sometimes, the cardinal points are a much better indication of where I am, okay? Even if we now go to the three kilometer mark, which is over there, okay? And that's definitely further than one kilometer, but you can see almost that now the angle she's gone, there's a degree, it's a different angle. So that bearing is now bigger than 180, it's probably about 200, okay? I know that you're looking at this and going, how are we going to tell, Tracy? Don't worry about it. This is just a case study. This is just to help you understand the difference between distance and displacement, okay? Of course, we have to have our reference, where we're starting from, okay? We need to know what we're comparing it to, and then we can go from there. So it makes life a little bit easier. Your questions will be, will be better than this, okay? This is just very complicated, but I wanted you to see it in terms of something that's more real world for you, okay? So, distance measured with a pedometer or an odometer. Pedometer's like your fitness trackers, okay? Odometer's what's in a car. You, it's the total length, direction doesn't matter. The symbol is D for distance and its unit is meters and it's scalar, okay? Displacement, shortest distance from between start and end. Direction is important. Direction is measured from the starting point. It's always start to finish, always includes a direction. The symbol is either an X for horizontal or a Y for vertical. We will look at that again. This is because we can change position and its unit is also meters. I know I did some examples with kilometers, but we will always change to meters, okay? And it's a vector, so it can be positive or negative. Mm. We will look at that. 
Well, guys, that's all for now. It's time to take a short break, get refreshed, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes.